So I've just finished the 24 hour Shopify challenge where I've took a brand new store, new product, new everything from scratch and scaled it as quickly as possible in just 24 hours. And as you can see, I've done over a thousand dollars so far today. It's about half 11 p.m. at night and these are the sales so far. I'll just refresh the screen there just so you know it's legit. I'll also get the results up here on my phone just so you can see from today's results. So I got challenged to see what I could take a store to in just 24 hours, a brand new store. And thankfully for you guys, I've screen recorded and documented the entire process. So throughout this quick video, I'm literally going to show you creating the video ads, creating the product descriptions, the actual product, how I found the product, how I then scaled the product using Facebook ads, Instagram influencers. I'm going to talk you through the whole strategy and show you exactly in this quick case study or Shopify challenge, exactly how I've been able to get these numbers in just 24 hours. So let's not waste any more time. Let's rewind 24 hours and go back to where this store first started. Let's do it. Okay, so here's the 24 hour strategy that we're gonna be doing throughout this video. So firstly, we're gonna find a unique product which solves a specific problem. That's really important if we wanna get sales within our first 24 hours. Then we're gonna create an engaging ad and a high converting product page so we get as many sales as possible as quickly as possible. Then using all this, we're gonna use a combination of Facebook ads and Instagram influencers. So if one fails, let's say Facebook ads fails, hopefully Instagram influencers will work and will generate a lot of revenue within this first 24 hours. And with regards to the Facebook ads, we're gonna be setting a $300 budget. So I'm gonna be spending $300 in the first 24 hours. And then Instagram influencers, I'm gonna aim for around about $200 spend on those. And then the goal return for this challenge throughout these 24 hours is $1,000 in revenue in the first 24 hours and hopefully about $300 in profit. Now it may be more, maybe less, but I'm gonna show you that it is possible to get sales and make good money in just 24 hours with Shopify drop shipping. so let's do it. Okay, so it's been exactly 37 minutes and I've built the store already. I used a pre-built theme and template. I've built the store as quickly as possible to save as much time as possible. I've just filled it with some random products here, as you can see, just to fill out the store. Now we're gonna go ahead and find the winning product that we're gonna be selling in this 24 hour Shopify challenge so we can go and make money as quickly as possible. And I'm not gonna bore you with showing you the whole process of building the store, because I've done that a million times already on my channel. So we're just gonna skip that bit and go straight to the winning product now, and then we're gonna go and market it, create the video ad and everything, so we can blow up this store as quickly as possible. Okay, so here is the winning product that I'm gonna be selling throughout this 24 hour challenge. Now what it is, is essentially like a box where you keep all your different snacks in and if you twist this bit here, it turns into a flower. So that's the kind of unique selling point. It's not your every day product. These sort of products go viral, especially on Facebook ads. And the problem that it solves is enables you to store lots of different types of snacks as you can see here in the picture. And I'll just click play here on the video and you'll be able to see what the product actually is. And it's good that the suppliers get footage of the product. So we can obviously include this in our video ad later on in the video. And as you can see, here's the product in action. It's quite a cool, quirky, unique product. So it's definitely got potential to be a winning product. Now I found this product by essentially just scrolling through my newsfeed, looking for inspiration of products. And I came across an ad from a store that are absolutely killing it currently. It's only a month old their ad and they're all already getting millions of views and literally crazy engagement. I looked at the comments and literally so many people were saying, I wanna buy this, I need this now. So I know this is a great product to jump on now. It's also a seasonal product because this sort of product is something that you'd use at Christmas to keep all like your snacks and your chocolates in at Christmas parties and so forth. Also, it'd be a great gift. So now in October, this will be a great product to jump on now. So I'm going to try and make as much money with this product in the next 24 hours. And I also looked on Google Trends and it looks like that the graph is starting to trend upwards um, for search volume for this product in the last 12 months. So that's kind of how I found the product. I found it in roughly 25 minutes of product research. Obviously I'm doing it very quickly because I only have a 24 hour time limit. So I'm just gonna import this now using Oberlo to my store and then we'll get on with the product description.
Okay, so we've got the product in our store now. So we're ready to write the product description. Now, product descriptions are important. They're not as important as the ad, but however, you don't want to neglect your product description. You want to make sure it converts really, really well and stimulates that emotional response in your customers. So firstly, I'm just going to change around the image here. I love this first image. You obviously want the best image of the product to show up first here because that's the first image they'll see. Then you just want to put like your second best image and just make sure that you've got like your best images for the first three or four images in the carousel. So now we've done that, we're ready to do the product description. Now obviously we don't want this default AliExpress product description because if you do that, you're probably never gonna get any sales. So you just wanna cross all this out. So I always like to start my product descriptions with a statement like this one here, just to capture the attention of your customers. As they scroll down your product page, you want to really capture their attention and get them to read more about the product. So I always put a statement here, I put it in bold and I also put the formatting to like heading two, just so it's bigger than the rest of the text so it stands out. Then below that, I like to include a little sentence just basically talking about how the product adds value. That's the most important thing, how it adds value to the potential customer. Now you don't need loads of text, especially with a simple product like this, unless it's something really complex that needs a lot of explaining. This product's pretty self-explanatory, so you don't need like paragraphs and paragraphs of te text. You just want it to be short and snappy so the customer reads it quick and buys as quickly as possible. Then below that, I always like to include like either, either a really good image or a GIF. So what I do is I go to Google and then I just look, I basically just search the name of the product and then put GIF after it. Click images and you'll be able to find loads of GIFs relating to the product. Now moving images convert better than still images. So I advise to implement things like this onto your product page. So I'll just click right click and just click copy here. And then you essentially just paste it here below where you want it on your product page. And then below that, I'll just put like five or six bullet points to saying why our customers love this product. And you're just talking about how it adds value. Now you don't need to list the features or the material or the diameters or anything like that. You really just want to give how it adds value and how it's going to make their parties, their Christmas, whatever, how it's going to make that much, much better by buying this exact product. And that's essentially all you need um, for a product description. Then below that, I'll have like the customer guarantee um, to add trust and value. Then below that, I'll add, as you'll see in a minute, I'll add reviews from Luke's literally 50 to 100 five star image reviews pulled directly from AliExpress because as the customer scrolls, that's essentially what's gonna lead them to buy. Once they see all the amazing reviews from all the customers, they're gonna to wanna to buy it. Um, so that's what I'll be adding now. Okay, so that's the product page completely finished. As you've seen, I did it really, really quick. I kept it simple, I kept it to the point. Bullet point, images, GIFs and things like that just to make it engaging. You don't need to go overboard with your product description, especially when testing products. Just make sure you include a lot of five-star image reviews at the bottom of your product page because that's ultimately what's gonna make your customers convert when they see all the social proof from existing customers for the product. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create a video ad super quick. I'm gonna show you a little hack how to do that really, really quickly because obviously I haven't got much time in this challenge. Then we're gonna go ahead, launch the Facebook campaign and the Instagram influencers and then we're gonna go and review the results, see what profit and stuff I've made throughout this challenge. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and create the video ad for this challenge. Now, because there's limited time, because it's a 24 hour challenge, I can't order in the product, I can't spend ages to hire somebody to create a really good video ad for me. I need to do it quick and I need to do it now. So what I've done is just typed in the name of the product here on YouTube. And as you can see, there's literally tons of videos about this product so you can easily kind of use this as part of your own video ad. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do because we're restricted with the amount of time we've got. Now if you are gonna do this, I'll strongly advise to actually contact the owner of the channel that you're taking the contact content from and just offer them like $20 or something or just ask them if it's okay to use content on their channel. Okay, so I found a pretty decent video here. It's a nice square video. It's got text overlay and it's decent quality with regards to the image quality and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this video and use it as part of my video ad. I'm gonna do some quick edits and stuff because I just wanna get the Facebook ads and Instagram influencers out there now and start making money as quickly as possible. So what I'm gonna do is just copy the link up here and just head over to a website where you can download videos from YouTube and Facebook and so forth and just paste the link into uh, there and then to click download. Now I can use that in my video editing software. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and edit the video really, really quick. I'm gonna try and do it in like 30 seconds, just because obviously we were limited with time. So I'm just gonna do it really quickly. So I'm just dragging that video that we just downloaded from YouTube into here. And literally all I'm gonna amend is just add in a top bar across the top of the video, just so it stands out when people are scrolling through their newsfeed. When you do this, I'll get a slightly high click through rate when I do this, and obviously a high click through rate leads to more traffic to your store. So what I'm gonna do is just go on annotations here and just drag in a bar across the top here. Obviously that's a bit big, so we need to condense it down a bit. And then I'm just gonna type something like, this is amazing, just to so it captures the attention of our audience. Let's make that a bit smaller there. Now I'm just gonna add in a few emojis, um, just again to just make it stand out a little bit more and get that higher click-through rate. Swap that there and I'll just copy and paste that. So just click copy, paste, and it'll just duplicate that and I can drag that other one over here like that. And that's essentially all I'm gonna do and I'll just need to make sure these are all dragged out throughout the entire video just so that obviously the bars are always there throughout the video. Now if I just click play here, as you can see, we've just edited, created the ad in literally like 30 seconds. Um, and this is essentially all you need, especially when testing products. You don't wanna be spending days um, creating content or anything so obviously if the product doesn't work you've just wasted loads of time and you can actually get really really profitable campaigns with really simple ads like this because it captures the audience attention and they just click on the ad and then because it's a video ad your product page will automatically load below the ad and then they just go onto your product page and make the purchase okay so we've created the store we've done the product page we've done the video ad so now we're ready to go and launch our campaign so firstly we're going to be launching our instagram influence now i've contacted about 30 different influencers i've had a reply from a pretty good page with almost a million followers now they're charging me 180 dollars for a 24-hour story post plus a 24-hour post to their wall so i think that's a pretty good offer and i think i'll get a decent return on that investment because i only need about 10 sales to get a decent return now the theme of the page they're like a crafty like kitchen gadget sort of page so it's definitely relevant um, to the audience who are likely to buy the product that i'm selling because it's likely that homeowners and people like that are going to be following this instagram account now once that's launched we're going to go into the facebook ad strategy i'm going to show you a little hack at how you can launch a campaign just for 24 hours and get quick conversions quick purchases so we can actually get a good return in just a short space of time so let's go into that strategy now so here is the 24 hour Facebook ads launch strategy that I'm gonna be implementing in this challenge now. The reason for this is to get results and conversions as quickly as possible following this exact strategy. So this is slightly different to normal ways to test products or launch new campaigns. Because we've only got 24 hours, we have to do things and tweak things differently to get results quicker than usual. So firstly, the objective of the campaign is conversion. So we wanna get conversions. So we don't wanna run PP ads or anything like that. We wanna go straight for a conversion campaign. And we need to be setting the budget at the campaign level. So CBO or campaign budget optimization, it's essentially where the budget is managed at the campaign level instead of the ad set level, which is kind of the normal way. So we're gonna run a CBO campaign. And the daily campaign budget is gonna be $300. So as talked about previously in this video, we're gonna be spending $300 in the first 24 hours or in the whole campaign. So $300 plus 180 that we've spent on the Instagram influencer, that puts the spend at $480. And then the conversion event that we want to optimize for is purchase. We don't wanna do add to cart or anything like that. We wanna go straight for purchases so we can get purchases as quickly as possible and hopefully get a return on our investment and then we're doing 15 ad sets in total so 15 different ad sets and the only variable that's going to be different within those ad sets is the targeting so different interests different demographics and so forth you'll see in a bit now with regards to the targeting we're going to be doing e-packet countries i always test with e-packet countries you get low cpms but they're also countries where you can ship to them quickly and efficiently so you're going to avoid things like chargebacks and so forth and also these countries generally have like a high buying intent. They spend a lot of money on buying things online with regards to other countries. Um, so these are kind of the best list of countries that you can uh, market to. And you can just go to Google and type in ePacket countries to get this exact list. And we're targeting male and female age 23 plus. Now I don't want to like narrow my audience by trying to be really specific. You just got to test. I'm going to keep the age range and gender fairly broad. Now for the demographics, I'm going to be testing homeowners because this is the sort of product that you're probably going to buy for like if you're hosting a party or 
you just want it in your home to keep like treats and stuff in. So homeowners would be a good demographic to target for this. And then interests that I'm going to be looking at is things like cooking, kitchens, um, kitchen gadgets, flowers, containers, household items slash accessories, and a few more different ones. So basically that's why I'm doing 15 different ad sets to really just test lots of different ones. And because I'm running a CBO, Facebook will just optimize everything for me and allocate more budget to ad sets which are performing better than the other ones. So that's why I'm running a CBO to basically get results quicker. And then the placements that I'm going to be doing are Facebook's news feed, Instagram feed, and Facebook video feed. And then the conversion window is going to be one day after clicking or viewing. So this is really important. You don't want to have seven days because this is a 24 hour challenge. You just need to be targeting the people who are most likely to buy as quickly as possible. So by selecting the one day after clicking or viewing, you're going to get where you're going to hit those pocket of people within the audience who are, have a higher chance of buying relatively quickly. And now the schedule, and this is the really important bit, I'm going to set the lifetime of the campaign to be just 24 hours because it's a 24 hour challenge. Obviously, I'm not going to be running the campaign for months and months. So I'm going to set the lifetime of the campaign to be 24 hours. So after 24 hours, it'll automatically terminate or be killed regardless of what happens. So because of this, because it's only 24 hours, you're kind of forcing Facebook's algorithm to get us purchases and conversion events as quickly as possible. So rather than it being like a month long campaign, because it's only 24 hours, Facebook's algorithm are going to try and get you conversion events really, really quickly within that short time frame. So hopefully once we've launched this and the Instagram influencers, after 24 hours, we'll have a really good return on our investment. Okay, so that's the campaign complete. So we're just on the 7th of October from yesterday's results. Now as you can see the campaign's now inactive because we set it to a lifetime of just 24 hours because obviously we were doing 24 hour Shopify challenge. Now as you can see it spent almost $300 and it's from that we've got 46 add to carts, 27 initiate checkouts and 17 purchases yielding a purchase conversion value of $609 and an average cost per purchase of $17.60 with an average return on ad spend at the campaign level of 2.04. So it's not like insanely profitable because see, as you run Facebook ads, normally the first day isn't gonna be as profitable and a lot of time you, you lose money. However, we've collected lots of data here and we can go ahead and use this data to be able to scale everything up further. Although it's only a 2.04 ROAS, we're still pretty profitable even when you take into account the cost of goods sold. So what we're gonna do is do a bit of maths now to calculate how much profit have we made throughout this 24 hour challenge. So if you remember back at the beginning of this video, I showed you the overall sales and the sales for the 24 hour period were 1,184. Now as you can see here, we've spent 299 on Facebook ads, so minus 299. And then we spent $180 on the Instagram influencer, so minus $180 there. And then the cost of goods sold was roughly $450. So we minus that there and we'll get the overall profit that we've made in the last 24 hours. So as you can see, it's a decent profit margin. $250 for one day's work isn't bad. Considering I created the store really quick, I found the product quick. I did the video ad in like 30 seconds. Didn't do much research with regards to targeting. I just kind of guessed and did it quickly. Launched some ads, launched some Instagram influencers and we've got over a thousand dollars in revenue and 255 dollars in overall profit so anyway that wraps up today's video i hope you've liked this style of video this action-packed kind of challenge 24-hour challenge type of thing now i didn't reveal the domain of my store because i actually want to go ahead and take this campaign i'm going to duplicate it and see if i can scale up this product further throughout october and november because i think it's got a lot of potential however it's probably going to get really saturated now because i've obviously shown it on youtube but oh well, I think I could still definitely make some more money with this product. So if you like this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, comment down below, I'll answer all your questions. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.